a border emergency. That's the situation declared by officials in Uvalde, Kinney and Goliad counties this afternoon. Yeah, the announcement comes as the southwest border currently reports some of the highest numbers of encounters nationwide. Alicia Barrera is live in Brackettville, where some of the less populated border cities and county officials say they're facing major safety challenges and need more resources. Good afternoon. Yeah, that's the bottom line here. They're just wanting more help. There's frustration. Some of the counties that were present today, their sheriff saying that their deputies, the staff is maybe seven deputies. And can you imagine having to take care of their their people, their population, their community? So they're asking Governor Abbott to step up once again. They say they are thankful for the money that has filtered in through Operation Lone Star. But they say with these numbers, they simply cannot keep up. So what they're asking for specifically today was for a declaration of local state of disaster and then other counties stepping up also um, to request that Texas, the governor of Texas, talk about the border as an invasion. Let's listen in. Some people have said that, well, you know, you haven't described what invasion, an invasion is. In the declaration, the numbers speak for themselves. Tell the rancher we're not being invaded. Tell the lady driving down the highway she's not being invaded. Tell the citizens of Kinney County and every county on the border you aren't being invaded. I think they're going to beg to differ with you. Right now, this is just a petition that they're making for the governor of Texas. As of right now, this does not change the authority that these counties have. Again, what they want is change. However, what exactly that will look like is yet to be determined. As of now, everything stays the same. But st stick with us here because coming up at six, we also hear from a leader of a grassroots organization who was in the audience listening in and why it's important for him to be here today. Reporting live, Alicia Barrera, KSAT 12 News.